Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Happy Indictment Thursday! <laughs> I was, oh, my dog is just, he's right here. Um, I was out at a little happy hour uh, when the news came through, so um, I'm a little delayed and I haven't been able to actually absorb any of the um, online chatter or watch the news, but uh, fucking yay. I did see that Representative Eric Swalwell did say something about the indictment of a former president um, is nothing to celebrate. And it's a dark day for America. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, fuck you. Yes, it's an opportunity to celebrate because justice is finally being done. Um, it's the tip of the iceberg, though. This is like, this is the thing. And this is what I think everybody's been waiting for Alvin Bragg to break the fucking ice. Um, Because this is the one thing where his supporters and people are going to be like, oh, it's, it's a technicality. It's okay to tell people not to talk and give the money for it, blah, blah, um, But, you know, the actual you know, breaking the law of trying to influence an election is breaking the law. Um, and so he fucking indicted for it. So now the precedent has been set. You can indict a former president and maybe now a sitting one. Mm. Who knows? Not the current sitting one, but, you know, well, maybe. Who knows? If he did something wrong, he should be indicted. Um, but... I firmly believe this is the this is the first of the dominoes. Now that he's been indicted on one charge, or whatever charges that Alvin Bragg is bringing against him, that Georgia case is like a slam fucking dunk. It's uh, it, those recordings of him literally begging um, elector uh, election officials to just give him votes is so illegal and the grand jury has already um said i i'm from the leaks from that girl who shouldn't have been talking it's very clear that they have already said he should be indicted um so he's gonna be a second time in georgia hopefully very soon now that this uh first one has happened i know i'm yelling i'm sorry i'm very excited um uh well, I guess I, I wanted to say maybe I'm not excited, but I am excited. Uh, I, that like here's the sad thing. Um, I do kind of want him to not go to jail yet. Uh, you know, uh, much like Joy Behar, I want him around for 2024. If he's not the GOP nominee, I want him to run as an independent. Like, I want him in the mix to fuck things up, um, to ensure that Biden gets a second term. Not that I love Biden, but um, he, he's better than any alternative that we could possibly get on the other side. Um, excuse me. That's the happy hour and some pasta that I had earlier um, with meatballs and sausage. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I like... And this is gonna take a while, everything's, but like the fact that it actually happened, like there was some sort of official on the record, you broke the law. Oh, that's a, that's a, a little, just a, just a little bit of relief. Um, and, uh, and a little glimmer of hope about now, there's an opportunity. There's a laneway for all those other um, uh, charges to to come through. And in other judicial news this week, um, Gwyneth Paltrow uh, was uh, her case. She was found not guilty, um, apparently, in the uh, skiing incident. Look, this guy who brought the case to her is a fucking moron. I'm no fan of hers. From the second she told uh, James Lipton on Behind the Actors Studio, it was really hard for me to win the Oscar. 
I was like, you privileged piece of shit, fuck off. Um, and I felt that way about her pretty much ever since. And the whole goop thing, it's like, well, I, you know, I was right. Uh, it, she is just an out of touch, um, like kind of off the charts, like, like caricature. And but what she's been doing with this trial, I love. He started at three million um, saying that he cra she crashed into him and, you know, caused all this damage. And then now it was down to 300,000. And it turns out he's been like traveling the world and zip lining since then and um, cashing in on text messages and um, and, you know, selling the story at parties that, you know, he was, you know, Gwyneth crashed into me. You know, I crashed into Gwyneth. But it's very clear he was the one who crashed into her party. Um, and I love that she has not um, taken the bait and is like, no, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to go to court with this because you're wrong. And is giving, I think, the performance of her life. This is much better than Shakespeare in Love. Um, you know, the writer of poems, blah, blah, blah. She uh, is playing this perfectly. And and wearing like co like coordinating her outfits, white on the stand and the big black cape when it comes down for the um uh, the summations, it's like it's couture, um, is what I'm calling it. Uh she's really got this guy's number and and playing this to the hilt. She may be um, you know, a privileged annoying fucking rich white lady but she's smart she has by taking this to court and just destroying him and his his own attorneys have been kind of complicit in destroying him did you see the fangirling from that that female attorney who told you oh <laughs> Oh, oh yes, you're small but mighty. Oh, but you're not small. <laughs> like, come on, lady. You're not helping your client. Um, and Gwyneth was just like, mm hmm Uh-huh. Just playing this pitch perfectly. And apparently on the way out, um, whispered to him after the verdict was read that, you know, she's not guilty. She whispered to him, I wish you all the best. <laughs> like a fucking horror movie. Like, I'm still not done with you, motherfucker. Anyway. Um, no fan, but I think that's been brilliant. So good for you, Gwyneth. Um, I hope after this, we never have to hear about you again. And um, for the big giant orange toddler, we're gonna hear about you again a lot because there are a lot more crimes that we are going to be exposing and you're gonna do some time. He's got to, right? He's got to. Lock him up! <laughs>